Hey, so I'm Blue. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. Today I'm doing this Vampire Queen look with the brand new Bella Butte Border Vamp Palette. So if you'd like to see how I got this look and sparkle swatches, then just keep on watching. Y'all, Bella Butte Bar has been knocking everything out of the park lately. I'm so excited because Vamp is here and I've used it a few times and put looks up on Instagram. I love it so much. So I thought I was going to try my very best to do something with shades that I may not have tried yet. Some I have tried, but I wanted to do something very smoky, but also like vampire-y. And I even made some earrings last night that I wish I could have worn with the look that I had, but it took a while. So let's jump into the look really bella butte bar has just been doing the thing okay like my obsession this palette when i was seeing the previews i was like oh my gosh so good so if you want another look with this let me know but i'm gonna start out with the blend bunny cosmetics b2 brush and the shade michelson which is a matte black with gorgeous red reflex in it it's so pretty so i'm gonna pack that onto this brush and I'm going to start to take that into my crease and work that through the crease down towards that inner corner of my eye and not really worry about much as far as like if it's precise, how pigmented I have it from it kind of blending out as I add it. I just really want to get that shape. So I'm going to dip back into that shade a few times just so that I can go ahead and follow the shape of my eye to get the smoky bit ready which will also be our depth shade so i'm going to work that and i'm going to start to bring it down on that outer v without taking it out too far so now the shape is coming together this is where i'm going to start taking the shade and really focusing on oh can you see the reflex already so good but i'm going to start to take it and pat that on there and start to intensify the shade i love this palette so much already bella beauty bar like the so far this halloween and last halloween yes <laughs> i just i have no words back and forth and this just helps to bring that shade to life just kind of getting that shade laid down first for our shape and then just go in and intensify it and then it'll slightly diffuse on its own it's a nice windy day out today and the windows are open for already and i'm just enjoying the weather because i know pretty soon it's going to be dreary winter and i do not care for winter time <laughs> Okay, so this is the shape I'm working with. So if you have more hooded eyes, go ahead and take it up higher past your crease. And then like, so this right here pretty much is my crease. I took it a little above because this is my droopier eye. So take it up a little higher. This is just our depth shade right now. And then we will go in and soften everything up. But I want this to be just so dark like how I feel my soul has been for a couple of years, but I also still enjoy being loving and giving love. The joke like the meme. I want it to be as black as my soul. Okay. And you can already tell that with going in and doing that, it's starting to diffuse a little bit, which makes our job a little easier. Now I'm taking the Makeup Shack T14 brush. I'm just cleaning it off because I was in a hurry earlier. I was posting on Instagram when I was doing this eye. And then my mom came by and I was visiting with her. So just kind of leaving dirty brushes around. So with the T14 brush, I'm going to take the shade Coffin to blend that out. But first, since I have this brush cleaned off, I'm going to start to just go around the edges of this first shade here. And then just start to soften that up a bit. Mm -hmm. 
back and forth and look at how well it's diffusing already. I'm very chatty, but I'm also very caffeinated and I am drinking a cold brew right now. So I'm like all over the place. <laughs> okay, that's softened up enough. Now I'm gonna take coffin and just start to blend that out. Back and forth windshield wipe emotions with the lightest amount of pressure. Now on this outer C area, I'm just gonna pat that. So I want a more rounded half cut crease. Just pat, 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 pat. And then I'm gonna start to go back and forth. And you can tell I've lost a little bit of that first shade. So I'm just going to go ahead and clean this brush off with my needs to be traded out for a new one sponge quick cleaner thing. My sponge has pretty much bit the dust. I've cleaned the brushes so many times that it's come apart. Also procrastinated on cleaning my brushes, but I'm going to do that this evening. Okay, more of the first shade. And then I'm just going to pat that on to bring it back. And then I'm going to go back and forth with it. I'm going to take the Makeup Shack T63 brush and the shade Eternal. And I'm going to soften that up with it. Oh, the shift and shadows. Okay, I might have to do some sparkle swatches in this one because these sparkles are phenomenal. So, I'm going to take Eternal and start to soften it up back and forth. And then I'm just going to start to soften this outer bit up. This blue really blends everything out and softens it up so nicely. It's such a unique kind of pastel blue. I don't think I have anything like this in my collection. Blend, blend, blend a Look at it. It's so cute. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this Sigma E25 brush. I'm just going to take a little bit of my CoverGirl powder. And I'm going to go ahead and do that along the edges to really, really melt that in and make it look more airbrushed and very, very softened up. So there is no harshness at all. And if you've been around for a while, you know me and the Sigma 25 brush have been friends for a while. I just don't use it as much anymore because I've gotten more brushes from the Makeup Shack and I love them. But this is still a really, really good brush. I'm going to take a little bit more of Eternal. And just kind of bring it back a bit. And then I'm going to take the Makeup Shack T14 brush and coffin. And I'm going to bring that back as well because I did lose a good bit of it. Just doing back and forth windshield wipe emotions with the lightest amount of pressure. And then I'm going to just kind of pat that shade as well. And I'm going to dip back into that first shade 
Michelson and touch that up. that blend it's so good <laughs> okay so now I'm gonna take some micellar water on a q-tip to clean off my lid uh, clean out my crease and carve everything out and then play with some sparkles All right, so now that my crease is all carved out, I'm gonna take a little bit of Michelson and the Sigma E25 brush. And I'm just gonna pop a little on the edges of this base. Just soften that harshness up. Okay, now I'm gonna take the shade Claudia I was stuck between that and daylight rings and I don't know I just kind of gravitated towards this one but real quick I'm gonna take this little fan brush from BH Cosmetics and take skin of a killer which is the iciest shade in the palette and what I'm gonna do is go ahead and get my brow highlighter on that way when I go add gems and glitter everything will be evened out oh look at that it makes me think of Twilight. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna take this brush, just gonna back and forth pat and get that blended in. There we go. I have the skin of a killer, Bella. I'm gonna take a little bit of Claudia on my finger and just work that on the lid. Oh my goodness. It's so pretty. Now I'm gonna take the Doe Color number 14 brush and work that shade onto any of that base that is still showing. Take it and just swipe it on over. It's so pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna take the Manic Gems Mania Rhinestones and some Gleam Glitter that I found on Amazon and go ahead and start to do the bejeweling process. <laughs>
All right, I'm gonna go do the rest of my face and I'll be right back. this is the finished look what do you think i'm so excited about how it turned out i really don't know if i want to wipe it off but i'm gonna have to i can redo it but i feel so cute i feel like a vampire queen i love 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 smoky eye now the reason that i don't do them very often is because once i start doing them i just want to keep doing them and i will get stuck in that because i just feel very bold and very cute and looks like these <laughs> I want to say a huge thank you to Bella Butte Bar for sending me the vamp palette. I love it so much. I already know that even after spooky season is over, this is going to be my go-to palette because if I'm like in a rush, I'm going to do kind of a smoky eye and I just love how everything blends. The colors are so cute. The sparkles are magical. So I'm going to do something a little bit different here. I am going to go ahead and do the sparkle swatches here. I have no words what shade caught your eye this palette is absolutely dreamy and i'm so very grateful that i got to be able to do this look and have it ready and play in the palette and for receiving it so again thank you so much bell beauty bar by the time this video goes up this palette will be available so i don't know if it will be sold out or if anything like that how it's going to be but this is definitely one that i like i said i'm going to be reaching for this a lot i love the colors the colors are so like right up my alley and like the sparkles are so so pretty and i do want to play around in the sparkles more so if there are any other looks that you'd like to see with this palette then please let me know okay well i am very sleepy 
uh, I've just kind of had a little bit of jet lag since I got home. So I'm going to go ahead and go and get my pictures and all that good stuff. And I want to thank you so much for watching. If you want to keep up with my awkward face and shenanigans while I'm not here on YouTube, then I have all my social medias linked in the description box down below. And if you'd like to keep up with me while I am here on YouTube, then please hit the subscribe button. It'll mean so much to me and I can't thank you enough. And if you like this video, could you please give it a thumbs up? Because I heard that it helps push my video out in my algorithm. So if you give it a thumbs up, then thank you. Alright, thank you so much for watching and I hope that I'll see you in the next one. Bye!